So welcome to our first thoughts on Persona 5 Strikers. And we have something to say that we stayed away from everything about this game. We did. Trailers, movies, anything, gameplay, reviews, because yeah. the game has been out for over a year in Japan. Yes. And I said, I don't want to know what this game is all about. Did you? Even... No, I, I didn't even know until like you told me. Like, <laughs> and, and it's kind of a good thing that you kept away from me because yeah. I would have looked. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just to see, and it was tempting. A lot of times, I'm like, I'm like, I can see a little bit of it. I'm like, it's, oh. it's kind of like an actiony game. I didn't yes. know. So we're gonna talk all about Persona 5 Strikers. Mm -hmm. No spoilers Nothing. and all of that. And let's get into it. What was it like to play this game? I thought it was a lot of fun, surprisingly. Yeah. It really brought back some old memories. Yes. Which is good. You know, you go back and you visit old friends. Yes. And that, for me, the nostalgia of that was remarkable. Yeah, because this game takes place six months yes. after the original game. Yep. And I'm going to say something, tell me if you agree, that I really believe you need to play Persona 5. Yep. To get into this game, story-wise, so you know the characters? Story-wise and so, yeah, the character-wise with the um, Phantom Thieves are back. So yeah. you, if you don't know who that is, then you don't really have a connection with it, and you're just kind of like, oh, okay. It's like an action game. It's like this is yeah. a Musou game, in the sense that you're fighting wave after wave of yeah. enemies, hordes after hordes of enemies, yes. <laughs> over and over mindless over. enemies. and and it's, But it's a more of a, an RPG, like the Persona yeah. series itself. Definitely. But there's so much more of an action. It's an action game. It's an action game, In, in so yeah. many ways, yeah. It's and that's different, right? It's different, yeah. yeah. So, in its own way, and it's, they did a really good job. I yeah, gotta say that. yeah. The one thing that I love here is I kind of went in. I was like, oh, they changed it to this way. I was a little bit apprehensive because I like the old Persona Five RPG. Same. Yeah, we were both kind of on the same yes. uh, wavelength on that one. But wow, it is actually a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and I love how they brought the style back. Oh gosh, yeah, this, like, yeah, this the is not comic booky style, yes. the menus, and just the animation itself is yeah. remarkable. Yeah. And you got anything for, like side views? Yes. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, so in the game, when we get into talking oh, about that in yeah. a bit, is that the side view angles side. and stuff? It's like they switch it up. They just switch up and they throw so much, but like stuff into this it. This is also, I gotta say, it's not like a budget title. They're like, okay, no. we got Persona Five. They've really redone a lot of yeah. the game. It's completely new. Yeah. And uh, so obviously some of the enemies from Persona 5 are yeah, back and all that. Course. That makes sense. But it is a triple A game in my mind. Yeah. With the music, with the style, they've done a remarkable job of capturing what was great in Persona yeah. and putting it into a Musou style of game mm -hmm. and making it, dare I say, fun. And something that we got to talk about. <laughs> something has made a return as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a nitpick of ours with Persona. Uh, we love, because we love Persona 5. Totally. We totally love Persona 5. What is the issue, Kim? What it's is this thing? The constant talking. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I must have sat there for a half an hour once. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm still talking. You're like, oh, really? I'm like, yep, still talking. Like, to the point where they have to reintroduce the characters, which I get if you don't know the story, but sure. you're just kind of like, can we just get to the fighting? <laughs> I know. Can we just get doing something? And the characters are like, everybody has to say their, their piece, Every right? single person has to say something, even if it's just like a, yeah, it's like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Like, like, we like the story, but sometimes we find the dialogue is really padded yeah. in Persona, and I think that's a fine thing to say, yeah. but we were sitting there at times going, Oh my god, I'm rolling back into my head, like, let's get on with it, for sure. And like a lot of games nowadays, this is for, uh, it's a PS4 game we played. You can also play it on the PS5, which I did. I think there's a Switch version coming out as well. And the one thing that you can do, again, this is becoming a regular thing in most games now, you can switch to have a, having a higher frame rate or a higher resolution style of graphics. And then I'm always going, hmm, what should I pick? And I'm like, oh, the frame rates. I'm like, oh, I like the frame rates. Yeah. And then I'm like, mm, maybe the graphics. I'm always like, it's so strange. <laughs> I'm going, which one? Yeah, which one? And uh, no matter what you do, the games are still going to look really good. And oh, yeah. let's just talk about graphics for a second. Oh. It is, it is a beautiful game. It is a beautiful game. And it just brings you back to that nostalgia again of the old characters. And yeah. just the style, the oh. black, 
the whites and the reds. Yes. I like the darkness of it. It's just the oh. the neon lighting. The neon, yes, the neon. And you right, you brought it up earlier. Very like, comic, comic book, book feel yeah. of it. And so the graphics, uh, you know, with the actual games themselves, are very very good. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of shimmeriness on the graphics at times. That's true. Yeah. There's a, yeah. there's a lot of that <laughs> going on. But I think running around is a lot of fun in the world itself and to explore and all that stuff. I think it looks good. I think it looks good for the style that they're going for. The style, yeah. And I think, I think that really works. But that brings us into the meat and potatoes mm. of any video game. Yep. And that is, after we get over the talking and the graphics, it's the gameplay. The, that, that is where it shines or doesn't shine. And you're playing this pretty much full on what are your honest thoughts about the gameplay? Because I know you're an RPG person, I, and all yeah. of a sudden you're getting into kind of an action style of combat. Yeah, it was a little bit to get used to. Yeah. I'll admit that. I mean, it was kind of weird with everybody coming at you constantly, and like you feel like you're overwhelmed with it all. But eventually you get the combat system down, and it just becomes so much fun. Like, even just bringing back the personas and fighting with your persona, obviously. You also have special moves, like Showtime. Yeah. That one's pretty cool. And you can also ambush the enemies in the game, and I always love doing that, sneaking up on them. So much fun. Right. And it's just, at first, yes, I was a little bit eh, but then all of a sudden, the addiction. You of still, course, you, the addiction. You start understanding it, because you're you right. Do. It is so overwhelming at first. Yeah. You're like, what am I doing? When do, what you have so many coming at you, you're right. like, oh my god. And you, like, can, what? and you can switch out your characters. And you can switch out your characters. And those. all of that. Yeah. And to, to, to get an advantage there. Yeah. And you can also go back to our favorite place, the Velvet Room. Yeah. I love it. It's not so nice to hear that music again. Oh my god, the opera music. Yeah, I know, it's so, so I great. I think I remember going, John, it's back! Yeah, I know, I ran to the other room, I'm like, yeah, awesome. <laughs> I, I knew it would be, but yeah. it's nice to see, so you can create your own personas yes. again. And this is a, a, a basic game of the, the, the level up system, so mm -hmm. you're leveling up your characters, yep. you're going, I'm buying weapons, you're buying accessories, mm -hmm. you're buying protectors yep. and items, and upgrading your character that way, so there's a lot to do that way, and the game isn't a cakewalk. No, it's not. Like, there is points from like, I have to really grind. Yeah. Like, leave and come back, leave and come back, because yeah. I was getting my butt kicked. Yeah, which is great, because that's what an RPG is. Yeah. And so there's this big action element going on, yeah. but there's also the RPG element going on, and that's what I really like. But it also brings back the sneaking around. Yeah. That's what you know was fun the in the original rush. game. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging around corners, coming up and jumping on ledges and jumping down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And sneaking up on your opponents and getting the advantage yep. on them. Uh, that is that is a lot of fun to do here. And as we were talking about earlier, there's side view versions of that yeah, now. Yeah, that was really cool. It was cool. It was like what? Like Persona's gone into like a Mario style yep. action platformer mm -hmm. from a side view. Yeah. And I was like this works for this style of game. It did work. If yeah. it was in Persona 5, it would have been a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. But because of this game being an action-y game, yeah. it just feels like totally perfect and yeah. all of that. And uh, something else to say, the bosses are great. Yeah. That's some, we're, we're not gonna show, no. but wow. They don't shy away. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, we're definitely going back to the metaverse again. Yeah. And the same as what we did in the original. And good people in the real world yeah. are evil in the metaverse. Metaverse jail, I think is what they call it now. Yeah, and then, so you get to see who they really are and you get to bite yeah. their real in a way their real personas of who they really Always. are yeah. yeah we're still finding more out like i'm really excited how this story is going to go well that's okay here we go honesty here is this a game that you would continue to play yeah really? I, I think we'll do a uh, final thoughts yeah I okay think so yeah, yeah definitely i i want to continue on with this right after xenoblade because i i pulled her away from xenoblade i'm like hey do you want to do this and she, honestly kim was uh, apprehensive she's like I don't know, and then she started playing it, and she's like, oh, it's nice to see the characters, and we have that yeah, nostalgia. That but cool. then also in the action stuff, she's like, I don't know. Yeah. And all of a sudden she's like, yeah, I kinda like this. This yeah. is pretty okay. Yeah, and then, so I'm like, okay, you gotta finish Xenoblade. Yeah. So close, Only so close. Hours, Only 100 hours in a Xenoblade, and you put over 100 hours into Persona 5. Yeah, I can't help it. Yeah, I when mean. I find a game that I love, I'll just keep playing it. I know, and it's exciting to think that they we're probably working, obviously, on a Persona 6 right oh, now. Oh, I hope Can so. Can you imagine what that's gonna be like for like, PS5? And if the they keep the same style? Oh, yeah. Or like, how can you even make that better? It, it feels that way at times, doesn't yeah. it? Because the style was so 
perfectly done. I've I never, I have never seen such a great, great graphical style implemented into the menu system yeah. and into the game system and uh, and even into the cinema system. Yeah. It's so wonderfully done, and obviously. You know this, we don't have to say this, the character designs in this game are so awesome. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and we have to say this, we are Persona fans. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, we're Persona fans, so I think we're gonna uh, gush about this game a little bit more Level. and all of that. I think you really need to play Persona 5 before you play it, but Please. you can jump in. Yeah, you can. And, just... and have fun, but I feel like you just, as you said earlier, you're missing The connection it. to the characters, it yeah. was great to revisit it. It was actually something that really got me in the feels. Yeah, remember when we went back to the home base yeah. and that music kicked ah. in? And it was like, oh man, like that, that's the a soundtrack that still holds up. And, and I mean, the music, again, yeah. the music in this yes. is great. I could I could listen to that. Yeah, for sure. And then, that's what we're going to say is that for our first thoughts on the game, we're really liking it. It's yeah. really working. And we were both a bit apprehensive at first saying, uh, the action stuff. And the action stuff works very well, very well implemented, a really good usage of it. Yes, it's wave after wave of enemies, mm -hmm. but it's fun. It's fun. And you'll start getting the hang of it, and you'll yeah. start understanding how to do combos and do all of that stuff, yeah. and know exactly what you're doing. Because at first it's just like, bam, 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 you're like, what? <laughs> like, what's happening? And then, then you gotta go, okay, wait a second, uh, this move does this, and this does yeah. this, and then you kind of work That reflects it. that, and you gotta, like, you have to really think. You actually do have to stop and be like, you gotta really think of what you're gonna implement. Create your strategy yeah. for how to go forward and all of that, mm -hmm. but uh, I think uh, that's what we got to say yeah. about Persona 5 Strikers uh, coming out very, very soon and a very, very cool game, that's for sure. So anyways, guys, until next time.